Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about yet another preview feature for Dynamics 365 sales. And this preview feature is called duplicate detection for leads. And I'm going to explain all about it, what it is, how you can enable it and how it works. Now, the name of this preview feature might be a little confusing, right? Since we already have duplicate detection in Dynamics 365, but that's just more reason for me to explain what exactly this feature is. So let's talk about that. So this is not replacing the current duplicate detection settings and rules in the application. And I would definitely recommend keeping that turned on regardless if you're using this new preview feature or, or not. So one of the main differences with the duplicate detection that comes with Dynamics 365 and this new preview feature is that the preview feature will only look for duplicate leads, right? The out of the box duplicate detection, you can configure those differently. And another difference is that it works a little different from the existing duplicate detection functionality. Now the existing duplicate detection uses duplicate detection rules, which are created for each table. And then we can configure the columns that need to be included as well. So for example, you could have, uh, for contacts, right? You would use the email field or the mobile field so that if a contact is entered with an email address or with a mobile phone number that's associated with an existing contact record, that duplicate detection window will then alert us, right? Of that duplicate. And the way that records are compared in the back end is by using match codes. So like I said earlier, the preview feature works a little different because it uses the AI model, which has rules based on a combination of match codes and fuzzy logic. So fuzzy logic means that it doesn't have to be exact, right? So an example of how fuzzy lo logic can flag a lead as a duplicate is if you have multiple leads that have a similar name, right? And the same company name, or when they have a similar name and the same email domain. Now, unfortunately we cannot configure which rules the AI model uses to find duplicates, but the rules that will be used are as follows. So we're going to have the same email address. So leads are shown as duplicates when they have the same email address, regardless of data in other fields. Then we also have the same phone number. We're going to show these leads as duplicates when they have the same phone number, again, regardless of any data in other fields. And then here's the fuzzy part, right? So similar lead names and company names. This means that if leads have similar names and companies, then they're shown as duplicates as well. The AI model can identify the duplicate leads, even when the name and the company name sounds familiar. So for example, if there's a lead in the system with the name Jack Murphy, and then you have another lead with, with the name Jack Murphy, then these will be flagged as duplicates because even though the spelling is different, they still sound very similar. And then we have, again, leads, similar lead name, but then combination with the email domain. So if leads have a similar name and company, they're shown as duplicates but the AI model can identify the duplicate leads, even if the name sounds familiar, right? I talked about this earlier. So for example, a lead is in your system again, with that name, Jack Murphy with a U with the email address, Jack at abc.com. And then we're going to have another lead entered for Jack Murphy with an E 
with an email address, Jack Murphy with an E at abc.com. So these again are going to be flagged as duplicates because even though the spelling of the name is different, they sound familiar and the domain of the email address for both at abc.com is the same. Okay, so I hope that kind of explains a little bit of what it is and how it works. Now let's take a look inside of the application and I'll show you how to turn this on and what the end user experience is. So if you want to turn this on, uh, I want to call out that you have to make sure that Dataverse search is enabled in the organization because the AI model is actually using Dataverse search to get better results when detecting those duplicate leads. So make sure that you have that turned on as well. So you're going to navigate here to app settings. And when you scroll down, this is where you want to go, right? So this is that new item here on the sitemap below data improvements, which is that duplicate detection preview, right? And then you can just go ahead and turn this on directly from within here. And when you do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to my leads view. And you'll notice as soon as this opens, you'll notice that if I'm clicking on any lead in here that according to the system does not have duplicates, I don't see anything different in the command bar. However, these guys look very similar. So I'm going to click on that. And now you can see the view duplicates button here directly on my command bar over here. So if you click on that, it's now going to show you the original selected record, which is this guy. This is going to be sitting here on the left side and any duplicates will be sitting here on the right side. So you can kind of see that you can fit one, two, three records total here on this page. But if there's multiple, there's more than two duplicates. You can just go ahead and click on these buttons here, these arrows to kind of navigate through other duplicates as well. So then you can kind of see that why this particular record was flagged is, is kind of highlighted here, right? This email address is bolded. And then that kind of shows us that that's one of the reasons why this record was flagged as a duplicate. So from here, I can actually do something to this duplicate. You can see here, I can delete it or detach it. And detaching is basically saying that, okay, I'm, I'm going to say that this John Doe needs to be detached as a duplicate. So it's going to go and detach itself from my duplicate list. You can see here that I cannot do that from the original record, right? I can only do that from the uh, the duplicate record here, I can only delete it. So that's really all the options that I have. Now let's take a look what happens when we're actually opening that record. So again, I'm going to open up John Doe and I'm just going to give it a second to load here. And you'll notice that I now get a warning notification here on the top. And then you have the ability to bring up that same window that we just looked at. If you click here on view possible duplicates. So again, I can click on that. And then if I want to remove this person as a duplicate, if I'm saying, no, this is actually somebody else, then again, I can just click on detach. Now, if this record, this John Doe record is also flagged as a duplicate for another lead record, then we'll have to perform these same steps again. It's not like I am uh, taking him off any duplication, or I should say taking him off of all the duplication lists. It's just a duplication for this particular record. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching. Have a great week, everybody.